Charlie's going to look them over and see if they can hold it through three and four. And if he likes what he sees, he will give them the green flag. We are High School Racing Association racing right now here. Feature race, 15 laps here at the Thomas Sparta Speedway. As everybody piles up into turn one, turn one can be a little bit tricky there at the beginning of this. Uh, a lot of people think they try to win the race in the first turn, and it uh, just doesn't have to actually work that way. Out to the early lead in this one is the number 73J of James Gratch, followed by Thompson, followed by the 98 of Fry. 99 of Gage Moore is coming up quick on him too. Well, a nice fight going on for the fifth place position back there between the 98, or 32 and the 20 car. Meanwhile up front, James Gratz is still holding on to the lead over Charlie Thompson, 98 of Landon Fry. And we had a little, little bit of break action going on there in turn one and two. Oh, a little bit of uh, almost contact there, but they managed to pull through it without anybody hitting each other. So a little tire smoke going on there. It's just all part of racing. Gage Moore's moving up through the field on the outside. He's up to fourth place, challenging for that third place spot. Everybody's tightening up in that front five. As James Gratz continues to lead this one. With 12 left to go, 11 left to go. Oh, a little bumper grind going on down one. Three wide, three wide through two. This may not end well. Three wide down the back stretch. We're going to see how this plays out. And it looks like, looks like the 99 and the 98 are pulling out of this. And there we go. Had to get that one all sorted out. That, that could have been that could have been real ugly for a minute there. Oh, here we go. Turn one and two. We got a problem. Trouble in one. Trouble in one. Cars around, and it looks like looks like the 98 car. It was that the 20. That is the 20 car that is smoking over there. Looks like he might have lost his radiator. I think is uh, Trenton Fry. Looks like his radiator said good night on him. And Charlie is looking him over. He's going to decide right now whether he wants to give him the one to go or not. And we're going to just go green. We're back to green flag racing with 12 laps left to go in this feature race for the High School Racing Association. A little contact between uh, James Quats and Landon Fry in turn one, but uh, Curtis Ellison taking advantage of that contact and taking over the top spot. Ryan Dobrez now moving into second. And here comes uh, Caleb Artisan moving into third as Quats falls back to fourth. And uh, Landon Fry falling back to seventh, a little deeper in the field there. Oh, a little contact again in turn one. Logan Back is having to check up there. But uh, looks like Ryan Dobrez closing up on uh, Curtis Ellison there for the lead as they get uh, seven laps in the books. It's Kellickson, Dobratz, Arneson, Grotz, Odegaard, the top five. Oh, contact between Charlie Thompson. Oh, big contact, one and two. And Landon Fry and uh, Logan Backus also spun out to avoid that. Looks like we're going back to yellow here just before halfway. I give a shout out to Martha Van Dyke, who's running the cameras for NJP Productions this evening. Martha, thank you so much for all your help. We appreciate it. As we go... Back to green on this high school racing association. Eight laps left to go as we figure this one out. Ryan Dobras working his way up to second place around the 12 car. Here comes the 01 car of Odegaard. And James Gratz seems to be moving. He's kind of holding on to fifth place, but I think he's got a challenge for fifth right now from the 89 car of Lockington. Yeah, the 05 car wants a piece of that action up there up front. Oh, there we go. Looks like, uh, looks like there might be a problem there. Oh, yes. All of a sudden, Curtis Ellickson's off the pace here. Wyatt Dobrats is now in charge of the race with six laps to go. Looks like he might have lost power or something. I'm not sure what happened. Just all of a sudden, he fell back, and uh, that was it. Looks like his racing night uh, may be finished. That happened, uh, unfortunate break there for Curtis Hellickson, but it's now Dolbratz, Ormison, Odegaard, Brayden Lockington, and James Gratz, your top five with five to go.
watching HSRA Racing here, High School Racing Association at Thomas Sparta Speedway. <laughs> Raya Dobra is off to a commanding lead here with the 12 car in close pursuit. Looks like the 01 is going to try to steal second place away from the 12 car if he's got enough laps left to do it. Three laps left to go in this one. Three laps left to go. If he's going to make the move, he's going to have to start making it pretty soon. Almost, that 65 car almost hit the wall back there coming out of two, but he managed to pull it back under control. As we have two laps left to go in this one with Riot Dobratz leading this thing by a commanding lead. 12 in second place, 21 of Odegaard in third, fourth place. Fourth place is Lockington, fifth place is James Gratz in the 73J. We're on the final lap of this race, and it looks like Dobrat says this one pretty much wrapped up here for the High School Racing Association. Checkered flag flies over the 0-5 car of Riot Dobrat. Charlie's looking him over. He is waving the green flag. Command Post Saloon Hornets racing for 15 lap feature race here at Thomas Barnett Speedway. Start this feature side by side fight between Matt Satka and Tristan Finnegan coming down to complete the first lap. It'll be Matt Satka holding on to the top spot. Lonnie Ward waiting for an open here in third place. But here comes Andrew Gardner coming back to the field up to fourth and challenge Ward for the number three spot. And while Satka gets around Finnegan now, it has full command of the lead with two laps in the books. Zapka, Finnegan, Gardner, Wood, and Paul Finch up to fifth now. And here comes the 42 car of Tristan Finnegan trying to work his way around the 61 car of fight for the lead here. Well, we sure do. We got a real battle going on. Actually, all the way back to eighth place, we got good racing going on all through the pack there. Here comes Andrew Gardner up the outside. He's going to try to make it three wide going into three, and they are, yeah, he thought a little bit better of it, backed out of it. That 42 car is really pounding on the 61, trying to get around him. But Matt Setka is having nothing to do with that. He is just going to try to try to hold him off as best he can. Here comes Paul Finch up the inside. We have trouble in one and two. It looks like they're gonna get out of that one. Ooh, that 23 car got awfully close to that back wall. Oh, we have a stack up over here in turn four. Oh, we have trouble in turn four. Schwartz and it looks like uh, Mitchell Reinersell bring the caution out. So that saves Aubrey at least from going a lap down here. So she'll start at the tail end of the field. Looks like everyone's able to drive away and get back going here. Charlie's looking over. He's holding the flag up. Is he going to deploy? Yes, there we go. Green flag racing. We're back to racing with the command post saloon Hornets. That. Sacco. Oh, there goes Paul Finch underneath uh, Max Sacco. 61. Third, oh, Sapka, oh, hold on to it, Matt. Holds on to it, but loses a lot of spots. Ooh, oh, nice man. job of saving that car from that tire. No harm, no foul, no yellow flag, and we're still racing. Paul Finch out to a commanding lead over the 14 of Andrew Gardner. 
Gardner's gaining on him ever so little bit. And of course, Tristan Finnegan trying to hold on to that third place spot from Sammy Linehan. Sammy Linehan's going to try to look on the outside. Maybe she'll get around him. And the 4U is actually holding up in fifth place. Caitlin Wood in that 4U, four, four of course. Good racing going on back in the field. Five laps left to go. Paul Finch out in front. Andrew Gardner in second. Way back in third and fourth. The 42 of Tristan Finnegan in the seven of Slam and Sammy Linehan trying to fight it out, figure out who's going to be in fourth place and who's going to be in third place. Fifth place being held on solidly by Caitlin Wood in the 4U. Getting challenged by Jamie Pearson in the number eight car. And here comes Matt Heim up the outside. Andrew Gardner's caught up to your leader, Paul Finch, and he is working him. He's looking on the outside. He's looking real hard to the outside. Trying to get around him. He's got a door on him. He's got a fender on him. Not quite yet. He's not giving up yet. Paul Finch is going to hold him off as best he can. Three and four can be a little bit tricky, so this one could be interesting coming down the front straight away. Paul Finch still leading this one with three laps left to go. Andrew Gardner in second place, and he is fighting hard trying to catch up with him. White flag lap, one lap left to go to decide this one. Who's going to win this one, and who's going to take second? Third, fourth, and fifth are all undecided at the moment. Looks like Jamie Pearson's jumping to the outside. He's going to try to take away third place from Tristan Finnegan. Meanwhile, checkered flags are going to fly over to the number three of Paul Finch. Second place going to the 14 car of Andrew Gardner. Third place is going to be a hot contest on this one. It looks like Jamie Pearson's going to take it. All right, starting in the back of the field on this one, we have the number 130 of Tory Lockington. On his outside, the oh no of Steve Schulze. Next row up on the inside, we have the 73 top qualifier this evening of Mike Grotz. Outside him is the number 42 of A.J. Finnegan. Inside the next row is the number 90, we all know him, the master of the Malibu, Matt Moore. Outside him is the number 25. We all know this guy too. He's got a lot of top qualifying and a lot of feature finishes. Dustin McCracken. Inside the next row, the number 11 of Taylor McMullen. Tis outside. Was going to be the one of Andy Moore, but unfortunately he broke. So the next car in line is going to be the zero of Tim Murphy. <laughs> On his outside is the 24 of Greg Brown Jr. Next up, we're a little offset here. We're going to go with the number 71 of Austin Blank. Inside him is the number three of Zachary Swervin Morgan. Next up, the number two of Chris Brown. And on the pole position for this race is the number 11 car of Tristan Draskowski. All right, let's get these guys fired up here. All right, we're going to do this in five, four, three, two, one. Start them up. 20 laps of TACU Credit Union Six Shooter Mania Racing Paul. Toma Area Credit Union Six Shooter Mania is about a half a lap away from getting underway. Lights are off the pace truck. Pace truck's pulling off the track. It's up to these guys to keep it together as they come around. Keeping them side by side. Todd and Charlie are conferring down there. 
Todd likes what he sees. He's going to throw the green flag. Here we go. Racing underway with the Toma Area Credit Union Six Shooter Mania. Oh, we got mania happening already in one and two. We got all kinds of pandemonium up there, and it looks like everybody managed to pull through that one without any major damage. Meantime, up front, Tristan Draskowski pulling out to the early lead in this. Oh, never mind. We, oh, we're going to have to call this one back. We will have to do a complete restart of this uh, six-year mania. Feature. Yeah, complete restart with the original lineup because we did not get a full lap of racing in. He's coming to green this time around. Charlie's looking close. There it is. There's our green flag. We are finally underway here with the Toma Area Credit Union. Six Shooter Mania. 20 laps of feature racing with these guys. And on this first lap, it looks like Tim Murphy's off to the lead in this one with Greg Brown close in pursuit. Tristan Draskowski in third place and fourth place will be the 11 car Taylor McMullen, 90 car Matt Moore is in fifth. Something tells me he won't stay there for long though. Here comes the 11 car, Taylor McMullen sneaking around the outside of the 11 car, moving into third place. Challenging for second place with Greg Brown. It looks like he's going to take that one in one and two. Taylor McMullen takes over second place. He's looking at Tim Murphy. He's looking pretty hard. He's going to try it. everything he's got to go around him, inside, outside, whatever it takes to get there. He's going to try it. Matt Moore is stuck back in traffic, but I think he's going to break loose here pretty quick. Dustin McCracken back behind him. The 11 car of Tristan Draskowski still hanging back there in fifth place. Moving back to sixth. Here comes Matt Moore challenging Greg Brown for second place. Taylor McMullen looking to the inside of that zero car of Tim Murphy. He's looking, he's got a door on him. Got some good battles going on out there. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. All good battles going on in this racetrack. Watch that lead. There goes Taylor McMullen taking the lead of this race in the number 11 car. Matt Moore still fighting with Greg Brown for the third place. Who's going to take third and fourth? Matt is pulling away from Brown. Coming up on Murphy. We still got a lot of racing to go here. 14 laps left to go in this. Matt's looking at Murphy, he's looking real hard. He's looking to the outside. I th that could be a little bit of a tricky move going through one and two. Yeah, he got smart and decided to step back to the inside there. Still got a lot of racing left to go here, so he's not gonna burn up the car just yet. Now he's looking to the inside. He might just take him now. Meantime, Taylor McMullen is running away with this thing while these guys are fighting behind. He's gotta be looking in his mirror saying, yeah, keep on fighting guys, give me the, give me the chance. Matt Moore to the inside of Tim Murphy. He's going to take him. He's going to take for second place. Matt Moore takes over second place from Tim Murphy. And here comes Dustin McCracken right behind him in the 25 car. That moves Tim Murphy all the way back to fourth place. Meanwhile, Taylor McMullen continues to lead this thing while the battle for fifth goes on between Greg Brown and Tristan Draskowski as we are halfway through this race. 10 in, 10 to go. Tristan Draskowski out a little wide there in turn two. He loses a few spots. That seems to be McMullen, Moore, McCracken, Murphy, and Greg Brown in the top five. Things are heating up in that second place between Moore and uh, Moore. Between Moore and McCracken, things are really starting to tighten up in there. Now, does either one of those guys have anything for Taylor McMullen in that 11 car? Okay. 
Taylor's got that car hooked up pretty good, but don't forget that 90 car Matt Moore. Matt Moore, the Malibu master, can definitely pull it off up here. We've seen him do it before. Trying to get a little bit of help from McCracken there. McCracken kind of pushing around a little bit there. As the 11 car of Tristan Dostkowski almost went sideways in one and two, but he managed to hang on to it and save it and continued on. There's 25 car McCracken looking to the outside of the 90 car Matt Moore. Not going to get it done this time around. Watch that battle for a second. It is a fierce battle between that 90 car and the 25 car. Those guys are fighting for everything they've got to keep that position. Five to go. Five laps left to go in this race. Oh, McCracken looking to the outside there. Jumped out there for just a little bit and decided, now I'm going to jump back in here. But I don't think he's going to settle for that. He's still on the outside of the 90 car, Matt Moore. Oh, somebody just lost a tire or something. It looks like Tristan Vanskowski is the one that... Uh has gone to the infield all of a sudden. Yeah, I heard a loud pop too. Big bang, big bang. Yeah, could be a tire going down. Oh, actually, oh, actually, Steve Schulze has run to the back straight wall there. That was the loud pop we heard. Okay, yeah, I didn't so see that one. Like, yeah, Tristan Draskowski looks like he has an issue with his car, so he pulled it into the infield there. But uh, oh, we've seen the eleven for it. Steve Schulze. That wow. was a hard hit. We could feel that one all the way up yeah, here in the well, tower. Definitely good there. So not the out. way you. Not the way you want to end your night, but the driver is okay. That's good to hear that. Round of applause. Steve Schulze is okay. From over. Lights are off the pace truck. Pace truck pulling off the track. The Maury's Auto Group pace truck. Once again, thanks. Big, big thanks to Maury's Auto Group for furnishing our pace trucks all year long and sponsoring our lineup area over there, too, the Maury's Auto Group staging area. As these guys come around, Charlie's looking them over, and there's the green flag. We're back to racing for a four-lap shootout. Looks like McMullen is uh, doing a good job holding off both Moore and McCracken. Dealing with uh, Matt Moore on the outside, but it looks like gets a better run out of turn two, uh, turn four to lead that lap. Two to go this time by. Things are really heating up in front there though. That first through third still completely undecided. Two to go. Bracken trying to get a run, uh, but uh, has big hole right in front of him. Ooh, McCracken's edging ahead of Moore just a little bit there. And here comes the field down to the white flag with one to go. Now it's going to be McMullen holding off McCracken for the win in the six year mania main event. And Matt Moore tried to look inside on McCracken. Here goes McCracken. Oh, he's looking to the inside. Hold his line on the inside as they go through three. Here oh, comes Moore in the inside. Oh, Tracy contact. They come out of turn four. It's going to be Taylor McMullen winning the six shooter mania feature. Justin McCracken second, Matt Moore third, fourth to Tim Murphy Sr. And fifth going to Greg Brown Jr. Austin Blank will come home sixth. Seventh will be Tori Lockin and AJ Finnegan will round out the field running on the track. All right, pace trucks lights off. He's off the track. Cars are coming around three and four. Charlie's looking him over, and I think he likes what he sees. There it is. Green flag over the hobby stocks at Thomas Sparta Speedway. Lockington and Genevico in mortal battle for that first place position. It looks like Lockington's going to take first just by a bumper. And Shelby following close in second. She is after them. She, she wants to get that. She wants to get that first place. And here comes Andy Moore up alongside Shelby Lockington on the inside. Andy Moore's looking to try to get around these guys as well. Suit out front. As Lockington continues to lead this two laps in. Looks like the 33 of Grant Whitcraft is just a little bit off the pace here this evening. Mm 
And it looks like the 33 of Grant Woodcraft is pulling off the track as Seth, Seth Genevico has taken over the lead of this race. He's got ahead of Lockington and a very comfortable lead out front there. Meanwhile, Andy Moore has dropped all the way back to fourth place. With Shelby Lockington going by her. Another Lockington taking second place with authority. Ten laps left to go. Ten laps left to go as Seth Genevco leading this. Shelby, the equalizer, Lockington in second. Andy Moore in third. And fourth place is Lockington. Landon Lockington. We got two Lockingtons out there tonight. Tell you what, that 38 car, Shelby Lockington, is definitely looking, looking, looking at the 27. She's on the outside. She's going to try to take him on the outside. Not going to happen this time around. She's got Andy Moore behind her. She says, let's go. Let's get going here. I want to get ahead of that 19 car. Oh, just a little sideways into one and two. Oh, so awfully, awfully close to that back wall. She, she almost had him. Got a little bit loose coming out of one and two. Now the question is, can that 27 car hold off that 19? We have eight laps left to decide this race. Here comes Shelby Lockton, can back up on the inside of Andy Moore. She's driving that car for everything it's worth tonight. She's, she's got ahead of Andy Moore for second place once again. Andy Moore hanging back in third place. Was well, Seth Genevico leading this thing with some authority, but here comes Shelby trying to look on the inside. Not going to happen this time around. She's going to try it again. We still have a few laps left to figure this thing out. Six laps left to go this time around. I don't know. It looks like something might be just a little bit off on that 19 car tonight, Paul. Yeah. Andy's actually working at the outside room trying to look for a way. Oh, Shelby! Oh, no! There. Selects Andy Moore, spins out in turn four. <sighs> looks like is she trying to get going here. <laughs> Can she get it underway? And she gets underway without having to drop a yellow. But unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, she's not going to win this one. Meanwhile, can Genevico hold off that 19 car for the next three laps? Now he's getting a little bit wild and squirrely there. He knows, he knows he's got this thing. All he's got to do is drive it now. It looks like whatever was wrong with the 19 car, so it looks like it's fixed itself because he's right up on Seth Genevico. And he goes flying around him. I... Now Seth is fighting back. Those guys are fighting really hard for that lead position. One lap left to go. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be at the line? 19, 27, who's it going to be? Fight back. Oh, it's going to be tight. 19 car wins this one. Andy Moore wins this one by a bumper. Charlie Lex, what he sees, there it is. Green flag with the Thunderous Modifieds. Bill shot out to the early lead in this one. Rick DeVito fighting back real hard. I don't know if anybody's got anything for that 21 car tonight. Here comes the 18 car of Rick DeVito coming up strong on the side of the 21 car. He's going to try to take him on the outside. Not going to happen. He's got a door up on him. Down the back stretch. Looks like that 18 car. He's going to try to try to take it from him. Not yet. Still got a lot of racing left to go. 13 laps left to go in this yet. So a lot can still happen. I 
We get with that 15 car of Tony DeVito. This is his rookie season in a uh, modified. He's, he's been uh, in four cylinders out here for many years at Thomas Sparta Speedway. So this is his first year on a modified. Uh, talking to him during the, during the pre-race interviews and he said driving these modifieds is way, way different from driving the four cylinders. And uh, having not driven a modified myself, but I would have to agree just by um, just by virtue of the way the, the power, power to weight ratio has got to be way up there. Five laps left to go with this one. Bill Shot just opened it up with a hole shot there down the back straight. Here comes Rick DeVito trying to climb back up on it. He's looking, looking, looking to the inside, but it ain't going to happen right now. Seven to go. More laps left to go in this one while Bill Schott pulls away from the field and just drives away from the rest of the guys. That car is fast. Got a nice battle going on for second and third between the DeVito brothers over here. Two laps left to go, two laps this time by. Actually, one lap left to go. White flag lap, white flag lap. Bill Schott has just completely ran away with this one and will have no problem taking the win on this. Checkered flag flies over the 21 of Fire Marshal Bill Schott. 18 of Rick DeVito taking second and 15 of Tony DeVito taking third in this monstrous, thunderous, modified feature race at Thomas Sparta Speedway. Anyway, guys, I, I want to thank all you race fans for coming out this evening, hanging out with us. Rick Porter, along with Paul Reichert up here in the broadcast booth, saying thanks for coming out. Thanks, big, big thanks to TACU Credit Union for this evening and for all the help you guys give. We'll be back here next week for a night of racing here at Thomas Sparta Speedway. In the meantime, remember, you can still rock in America.